Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at La MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2023 Ford Expedition. So we're going to talk about the Timberline trim. We're going to cover all the standard equipment plus the different options and the standalone options all together in different packages available in this one video. So if you like videos like this, like to stay updated on Ford news as well, then you'll like our YouTube channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below so you can subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified next time we have another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. So as we mentioned, we're going to talk about the Timberline trim dedicated to this trim. We're going to first cover all the standard equipment. We'll walk. Uh, we'll talk about the the exterior features. Some uh, first some safety mechanical features, the exterior interior features of what's standard. And then we'll talk about a couple different equipment groups. Let me look at my notes real quick. We'll talk about the 501A equipment group plus some different packages and standalone options all in this video. Um, and we'll kind of go through that. So it will be a, link, a little bit lengthy video. So use the timestamps down below to move around in this video uh, as well. And uh, this is kind of great information. If you're looking to order a vehicle or maybe you're looking to get one of the stock uh, vehicle, you kind of want certain things that you want on your vehicle, you'll know by looking at that window sticker if that's equipped the way you want it to or if you want to order one. So. Uh, just keep that in mind so hopefully you have a good local dealership you can work with there uh, if you're wanting to work with us we do uh, we have a special offer that we have from YouTube about for free shipping we'll have more information about that and there will be a timestamp for that part of the video as well down in the description too so let's go ahead and dive in talk about some of the mechanical features first now starting with mechanical features we are going to use Ford's build and price and we're going to also use the build and price from our website when we get to some of the standalone options because it's a little easier to to weed through and look at. So uh, first start uh, going to Ford's website here. So Ford.com, you can build out your own. Um, so we're gonna go to SUVs and crossovers and we're gonna go to the Ford Expedition 23 build and price. Um, so I might have to put in our, there you go, acknowledge that there are some constraints and some issues. I, I would encourage you to watch our live streams because we do talk about that every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. on our YouTube channel here. Uh, where we talk about different uh, what's scheduling for each week what constraints are on different uh, vehicles and models and such uh, and then of course we're going to answer any questions you have live on those live streams but timberline edition i know it looks like we're skipping over limited but according to the order guide actually the timberline was next so we're going to go on to the timberline because uh, when you look at the different a uh, order uh, packages xlt is your 200 a equipment um, and then we do have the limited so um Basing it off of the uh, Timberline kind of goes off of the XLT and you can go to either like a Timberline or to a limited. So we're going to actually skip over and talk about Timberline next. There we go. So jumping into the Timberline here. Um, so with this in here, we'll go to the powertrain here so you can kind of see. So this one will come standard with a 3.5 liter EcoBoost with a high output EcoBoost engine. Uh, so a little bit uh, geared a little bit differently and it's upgraded from the regular uh, EcoBoost engine that you see on the XLT and the Limited. It is for performance because their intent on this package or this equipment group is that you want to go off-road. This is your off-road expedition uh, package. It is going to be, you, you'll see as we get into this, it's it's geared to go off-road. So it's going to have the high output uh, V6 EcoBoost engine and the 10-speed automatic transmission as well with select shift, as you can see down here. Select shift means that you can put it in a manual transmission, shift it up and down that way if you want to. comes in handy too if you're coming down from like a mountain or a hill or something like that. You can downshift a little bit easier that way. It's going to get them standard 4x4. Two-wheel drive is not available with this. <clears throat> and also, I forgot to mention the auto start stop technology. You come up to stoplight, stop sign, it's going to shut the vehicle off. When you let go of the brake or you go to uh, hit the accelerator, let go of the brake, it'll start it again. So uh, that just kind of helps with, you know, all the when you're at that stoplight, stop sign, all the exhaust fumes and everything, it kind of helps with that <clears throat> and, and helps out. So, all right. So, so now talking about the suspension, we mentioned this is based on for four by four. This will have the rough road suspension. So it's an upgraded suspension for you. It's going to get the premium off-road front and rear shocks. So really upgrades uh, this a little bit for you. Front and rear independent suspension as well. So it's going to get a great nut ride. It's going to handle the off-road capabilities as well when you're going through with imperfections in those trails and different places that you're driving this vehicle it's going to be able to handle that real easily this will also have control track with electronic limited slip differential it is going to be a 373 e-locker for you uh, for the differential also have electronic stability control as well for this one here now because it is standard 4x4 they're going to come with the intelligent four-wheel drive system with the terrain management system so that means that you 
turn that dial, the drive mode dial, to the different terrain that you're on, whether it be in slippery mode, whether you have it normal, slippery. I think there's some off-road modes as well um, for you, especially on this one, you'll have some of those extra off-road modes. This will, uh, speaking of that, this will have trail control. So if you don't know what that is, Bronco has it, Raptor has it, some of those off-road vehicles have it. Timberline will have that mode as well. That's basically like cruise control for the trail. So you can set that cruise and say, hey, I wanna go two miles through this trail. It keeps that speed for you. You don't have to worry about gas, brake, all that kind of stuff. You can just uh, just worry about the steering through that trail. Also, we'll have trail one pedal drive, which means that when you press the gas, it's going. When you press and let off of the accelerator, it's going to then apply brake. So that way you don't have to go and, and, and go back and forth between that. So some people like to, uh, on the trail, will like put their, the right foot on the accelerator pedal and the left foot on the brake. You don't have to do that. So you can just worry about uh, doing just a one pedal drive. Also trail turn assist, which is gonna make it easier if you have that tight turn on a trail, um, and you don't have the room to keep backing up and to turn around it, you can use trail turn assist and it's gonna lock in that back wheel on the inside so that you can turn around that. So um, again, this is something that we've seen on the Bronco. Now it's also on the Timberline Expedition as well. Hill descent control as well. So if you're coming down that hill, we'll help you out with that. And you also have hill start assist that helps you when assisting, basically it's gonna hold that so that you can go from the gas or from the brake to the accelerator, I should say. Also have electronic power assist steering as well. We call it E-Pass, uh, you know, on the highway and such, it's gonna make it so it stiffens it up uh, and you don't move, that wind doesn't push you from side to side, but also when you're going on slower speeds, parking lots and such, it's gonna make it a little bit easier to turn that steering wheel. So that's all the mechanical features uh, that are on this vehicle. It is, uh, it's, it's built to go off-road and I think you'll enjoy it. If that's your intention on this is to have a nice expedition, put plenty of luggage and stuff back there and take this off-road. Not only does it look cool and tough, but it's gonna perform that way as well. Now let's talk about some safety features. A lot of these will be similar to the XLT, but I wanted to kind of go over those just in case there are some that are a little bit different. So first off for your airbags for the, the front row, you will have a driver and front passenger dual stage uh, front airbag, as well as front seat side uh, mounted side impact airbags as well. So the airbag in the front will deploy a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. There are sensors underneath the seat, so it knows that. And also if you have that side collision in the AB pillar, that airbag will deploy on the side of the seat, so it'll help protect those occupants in the front seats. Also for all rows, you will also have the safety canopy airbag that's gonna come down, deploy down with a rollover sensor. So if the vehicle's gonna roll over, breaking glass and such and metal, if you don't want that to come in, that'll help protect it from the roof and the side uh, to uh, protect those in the vehicle in all rows. Uh, also, it will have the latch system. Now, that's the lower anchors and tethers for children for the second, third rows. So that way you can securely fasten those uh, car seats into those seats using that latch system. Also, you will have child safety rear locks. So that means those rear doors, you can lock those out so kids can't open the doors. You'll have to open them from the outside. So also you will have advanced track with roll stability control that helps you keep you on your intended path. So if you use just a series of uh, brakes around the vehicle or accelerates at the right wheel. So if you go into that curve, maybe too fast, maybe it's slick outside, it'll help keep you on your intended path. Um, now, if you are in an accident, you will have SOS post crash alert system, honks the horns, flashes the lights. If you're on off the side of the road, you need someone to come to your safety. Also get 911 assist. That allows you to, to Bluetooth your phone in using the sync system so that you can, it'll call 911 directly if you're in an accident. It'll ask you, hey, are you okay? Do we need to call 911? And it allows you to be able to do that. If you don't respond, it'll call 911 directly. Also, you do have the pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So basically it has a dynamic brake support, also called front collision warning. So if there's a car in front of you going much slower than you, this is where I see it the most is when you're driving along behind someone and maybe you look off to the side and you don't realize they're slowing down or stopping, or maybe they're, they're turning real slow and you didn't think they were gonna turn that slow, sometimes that, that will let you know that. And it preloads those brakes so that um, you can, when you hit the brake, it's gonna brake much faster. So, and it gives you a series of tones and lights that you need to stop. So uh, it kind of wakes you up in a sense if you're not paying attention. Also, if you are in a brake, it does have post-collision braking. So it's gonna brake the vehicle. So a lot of times people get in an accident, they forget to put it in park. Uh, so this kind of helps with that, or if you're unconscious as well. Um, and then a couple other, uh, something else that I feel like is a safety feature I included here, and that is a lane keeping system. So the lane keeping system uses an, a driver alert system. So it alerts you if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often and lets you know that you're doing that. Also, uh, you have a lane keeping aid system 
or alert system. So what the those are going to do is if you use the alert system, uh, when you go over the line, over your lane uh, marker, then it's going to go ahead and vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. Now, the aid system will help keep you in your lane. So it'll if it sees those lines, it'll actually go to that line and bring you back in and try to keep you in, the, in your line. You can use these together. So what it'll do is it'll, when you go over the line, it'll bring you back in, but it'll vibrate the steering wheel when you did get to that line. So you kind of know that you maybe weren't paying attention. So... Also, you do have an advanced security package also comes with this the standard equipment that includes your security, passive and a theft system, which means only the coded key can start the vehicle. So when you get in, if you don't have that correct key in the vehicle, it will not let the vehicle start. Also, it does have the inclination intrusion sensors that go along with the the uh, the um, passive and a theft system. So what that means is that if somebody like shakes the vehicle, or whatever, it'll honk the horns, flash the lights if you have the vehicle locked. Also with this, it includes intrusion and inclination sensors, which means if somebody tries to take the wheels, maybe they jack up the front, it's going to know that, sense that, if the doors are locked, it's going to set that alarm off. Also the intrusion, so if they break the glass, try to get inside, and you have the vehicle locked, it'll do the same thing as well. So that's all the safety features that I wanted to cover. Let's go ahead and talk about this exterior styling. Uh, when we get to that, I know that's important for a lot of people. Now we're going to start here talking about the exterior with talking about the colors available first. Uh, so uh, right here, we do have the Agate Black is available. We do have also, uh, it is a metallic paint. We do have the Star White Metallic. That is a tri-coat. Anytime you see you hear tri-coat or a tinted or clear coat, uh, it's an extra charge. This one happens to be three coats of paint uh, that give it that, that look to it. Uh, that's why it's $9.95 extra. We do have Oxford White available as well. Not an extra cost color. We have Infinite Blue Metallic. That is a tinted clear coat. So that's why it's $500. Those clear coats are usually about $500 extra. So that's a pretty a beautiful color. We have Dark Matter Metallic, which looks really good in person as well. Uh, I think you'll like that one at no cost. Forge Green Metallic happens to be the color of our expedition. It's a darker green than what it looks like here. Looks almost black in the, when it's cloudy out. When that sun hits it, it's a dark green, uh, darker than what it shows there uh, for you. And we do have the Stone Blue Metallic, $4.95 for that one. Doesn't say that it is, but it should be a clear coat if it's $4.95. And then we do have the Iconic Silver Metallic as well. Now, this is telling us that the silver is not available uh, unless you go to the 501A. So. This is one color that requires you to go to that package, which we'll get to that package uh, here uh, in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and use, um, let's use the green. I think that's a good color to go, the forge green to go along with this package here. So we'll go with that color. We're gonna enlarge this just a little bit and we're gonna move it up so you can see above my photo. There you go. So. Uh, moving on, looking at the front, you'll notice a dedicated different look to it here. Uh, so uh, everything's kind of, you know, the mesh here is a little bit different design than the XLT, uh, but you will get the nice uh, the, the ebony mesh behind there. And then the bars across here are going to be a, a painted dark carbonized gray bars for you. So it looks pretty sharp. I believe that even the Ford emblem is darkened up a little bit, a little different than the normal blue oval that you would see. So pretty cool how that looks. Also with this, you will get active grill shutters. They're usually located down in here. Uh, can you see? Okay, so you can see that. So those open and close when you need to let airflow in uh, when you're going slower and such help it perform a little bit better and cool off the engine. You will get heavy duty engine radiator as well. So a bigger radiator, a heavy duty radiator it helps out for the performance of that engine since you do have the high output engine there. For the bumpers, it's gonna be uh, body color painted bumpers. That's the section right here that you're seeing around there. So that's gonna be uh, gonna be body colored. In this case, it is the uh, forged uh, green here. We do have the um, skid plate underneath. So you'll see that there in the front, kind of a bash plate, skid plate. That is gonna be, it looks like it's the same dark carbonized gray with the lower fascia with the silver skid plate itself. So that's uh, this here is gonna be the dark gray. You'll see that. Uh, and then also silver right here for the lower skid plate. So um, you also get the tow hooks here on the front. You're going to see that is the ember red is what they're calling, naming that color. You also see that same accent across that bumper as well. So, um, and then we have the um, underbody as well. Underneath it, you will have a steel bash plate that protects it, not only there in the front, but also in the rear and in the middle there, the underbody, help protects the fuel tank and the engine and such, transfer case and that kind of stuff. A configurable daytime running lights, you can have those to configure during the daytime. If you want to, automatic headlights means when you turn, when you're having the intermittent, that, the, or the, the auto headlight switch, they'll come on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light for you. 
Also, uh, LED reflector headlights with signature uh, LED uh, signature lighting and black bezels. So the bezels in here are going to be black. Uh, LED ref reflectors means that the headlight kind of goes to there and it bounces off of that and gives you that LED lights. LED signature lighting as well. In fact, one time <laughs> my wife had it in the parking lamps, which just had the LED lights on, and people thought her headlights were on and that her tail lights weren't working. So that's kind of kind of funny how that works. That's how bright those LEDs are. So pretty cool LED lights that are on there and looks real sharp on the vehicle. LED fog lights as well down in here with an ebony black bezel uh, within that housing as well. Uh, wiper activated headlights, which means if you have the wipers on, headlights will come on. So some states it's a it's a law. Ford has you covered there. Auto high beam headlights as well. So if it's dark enough outside where you need your high beams on, they'll come on automatically. If someone's approaching you, you're in the city lights, one of those two things, they'll turn those off automatically. Now that is a feature you can activate and deactivate along with your daytime running lights and your lighting section of your vehicle settings screen. Um, so there you go. So that's all the features there on the front. Now looking here on the side, uh, it does have acoustic laminated windshield, first of all. So that's two pieces of glass, plastic in between. Uh, not only is it going to make it a little bit quieter, but also it's kind of a safety feature. Something hits that windshield and, and kind of breaks it. Uh, because of that plastic in there, it kind of keeps that together so you don't have that breaking glass coming in and hurting your uh, anybody in the front seats. Uh, your wheels is going to be 18 inch ebony painted uh, wheel there. Your tires are going to be an all terrain tire. Of course, you want to go off road. It is a P26570 R18E all terrain tire. So, pretty cool outlook that looks. You also have individual tire pressure monitoring system for those. Very important, especially if you want to go off road to monitor those tires. Uh, tire pressure, I should say. Four wheel disc brakes with analog brakes uh, as well. And your mirror caps is going to be a black mirror caps here, and that is black painted. So that's not the molded in black, black painted mirror caps there. Um, you will have front facing spotlights as well, left and right hand. So that there's a spotlight there that's front facing. Important when you're going off road to be able to have that. Um, they have it in the Timberline edition here. Uh, for your side view mirrors, it is power folding for you. They could they fold in. Also, when you lock the vehicle, they'll fold in as well. Power and heat for the glass. And it will also have security approach lamp that's going to light the ground beside the vehicle for you as you approach. Um, when you put your hands in a door handle, it's going to light that up. Or if you use your remote and you get close, you can unlock it and also light it up too. And then your turn signal indicators on the outside as well. So people know that you're wanting to turn. So it comes in handy for those at the, you know, four-way stops and such. That's real nice and easy for them to see in case I don't see the front one up there. Um, all right, moving on. We do have the unique uh, Timberline puddle lamp as well. So that security approach lamp I mentioned earlier, we'll put a the Timberline logo down on the ground for you. Uh, and this will have their bliss, uh, your blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. So the way that works is if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of the mirror unless you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, someone's going to cross your path behind you. It alerts you as well. It puts a light in the corner of that mirror from the side they're coming from. Uh, puts a, um, of course, has a bunch of sensors that says you don't want to back up. You'll have those alerts as well. And then even in your rear view camera, it's going to have an arrow showing you which way they're coming from and going to. So which is really cool. Also, um, if you have a trailer and pulling a trailer it also monitor the blind spot of your trailer. So pretty important. Also, you do have with this rear cross traffic braking as well. So if you're backing up, it alerts you and lets you know you don't need to stop, but you continue to go because you're like, I don't see anybody. And you continue to back up, but there's someone there. It'll break the vehicle. So that way you don't hit them. So that's new technology for this year. We're seeing it on the Timberline Edition. The Beltline molding is going to be the uh, the polished stainless Beltline molding. It wraps around the back. We'll see that when we get to the back back there. Your door handles are body colored right here. So body colored door handles. And you will have four door intelligent access, which means any of the doors, if you have the key fob in your pocket, put your hands in there. It's going to unlock the vehicle. Remember not to put your hands in the door handle and press the ridges on the door at the same time because that kind of alleviates and so it won't work that way. When you get out, just press the ridges without putting your hands in the door handle. It will lock the vehicle up. It makes it nice and easy to do. And what I like about it being all four doors is that if you have kids in the back, you're getting out. Uh, you can shut that back door. You don't have to go to the front to lock it like you do with some vehicles. I have to do that with my Bronco, that kind of thing. Um, and then you do have the keyless entry uh, key fob, so you can unlock and lock it if you want to at a distance. You want to let the kids in that kind of stuff early. It does have remote start system as well, so that means that remote start is on the remote. I'll tell you another way you can remote start it, but that's a little bit quicker way. You can lock it, press the press and hold the remote start, and it'll remote start the vehicle when you, if you're in close enough proximity to the vehicle. Um, 
keypad entry as well on the door. So I'm actually going to move this around because now we're getting to some other things here. So we'll make that bigger again and pull it down. There you go. It does, you can't see it here, but if you swipe on that A pillar or the B pillar on the door, um, it'll swipe so you can have a key uh, keypad entry. You can do that. So let's say you don't have the keys on you. You want to get into it. Maybe you're at a campsite and somebody's got the key off camp off you know on a trail or something you want to press your own uh, keypad to get into the vehicle you can unlocking it <clears throat> or let's say you want to leave the keys inside use your keypad to lock in the keys as well if you don't want to take it on your trail that kind of thing <clears throat> excuse me we do have the side rails they're going to be black for this so roof rack side rails are going to be standard as well you'll have the timberline logo there as you can see there on the C pillar, pretty cool. Your running boards are going to be a black platform running boards on this as well. And uh, you will have privacy glass in these back windows, back glass, uh, side quarter windows and such back here uh, as well. And then you will have the easy fuel capless filler door. So you just press that door. It's going to open up. No cap. You worry about lean behind, getting your hands dirty. Just put the nozzle in there and fill it up. There is a double door system. The second one does have two latches that need to be latched at the same time to open the second one. So that's why you have to have the, you know, usually the fuel pump is the correct size. But if you have a can, it'll usually be too small and won't work or too flimsy. And so you'll need to use the, the funnel that comes with it to be able to fill it up. And also the Timberline gets zone lighting. So not all expeditions get this. I'm actually a little jealous of this feature for my XLT expedition, but zone lighting uses the lights on the vehicle, the security approach lamp, the lights in the back to light up the vehicle around it. So pretty cool using all the LED lights around there to light it up. You can do different zones. Let's say you want the passenger side or maybe you want the back for campsite. You can just put just turn the back one on or you can put all zones on as well. So that's pretty cool uh, on the vehicle, too. Now, let's move to the rear of the vehicle here. So we do have a center uh, and we do have a rear spoiler back here, rear spoiler that is body colored. Also, there are high mounted stoplight back here, rear defrost with rear wiper. You'll see that chrome uh, belt line is going goes back there as well. Expedition lettering on the back that is going to be, uh, I believe, black or it's probably carbonized gray actually. Carbonized gray and carbonized gray bar accent back there as well. Timberline logo in the back as well back here. So a lot of features back here. You will have a molding on top of the rear bumper back here that has, you can see it does have the reverse sensing system. So as it backs up, you're gonna get alert if you get too close to anything. Rear view camera is up here on the lift gate. You, there's a handle over there to be able to pop that open as well and open it up. So uh, we do have the tail lights are incandescent, incan incandescent uh, tail lights with the black bezels in there. Give it that sport look. Um, we do have Going through, I got ahead of myself. Power lift gate as well. So you can unlock it there. You can do it with your remote as well. Um, press it. If the vehicle's locked and you just press the button just to the right of the um, the rear view camera, it opens it up. It unlocks it and then power lifts it up for you, uh, which is real nice to have. Bumpers are body colored uh, through here. As you can see there, lower part back here, you will have the silver skid plate in the back with those, uh, those lights, those reflectors for if you're off the side of the road or something like that. Uh, molded in black here in the back to help protect it from rocks and such. You'll see the tire under there. Spare tire is tucked underneath. Um, you can get into that through the rear cargo area. Uh, and you do have the cargo uh, protector on there too. You do have a trailer hitch uh, cover. So you can see where this is actually, you can kind of see that break right there. That is a cover for the hitch. So that way, if you're not using it, you kind of have a nice cover. That way you don't hitch your shins on it and such when you're getting uh, coming up to the vehicle. But if you need a hitch, it's there. Class four trailer tow hitch. Four pin and seven pin wiring is standard uh, for the vehicle. So you'll have that. Turn this way control as well. And then um, you do have a dual exhaust system. It's only showing, okay, it is showing two tips here. So they're both on the one side, the passenger side over there coming out the back, but you can see it is a dual exhaust system back here. Also, rear cargo area includes a cargo management system. Um, you have underneath there, you can put things in, store things, everything. A cargo area light in there. A, 12 volt um, power point back there as well. Cargo nets in there too. A lot of ways to, to help store things back there in the back. So that's everything on the exterior. Let's move inside and talk about some of the interior features now. All right, now let's talk about the interior features that are standard equipment for the vehicle here. Uh, you do have as options, you do have a couple different color interiors 
Um, you do have the black onyx interior. Uh, that one there does require to go to the 501A equipment to have it. That's why it wasn't highlighted. So we're going to cancel that because that's where you get leather. And then you have the deep cypress, which is what's standard equipment for you, giving you cloth seats inside here. So it does have the enhanced active noise control with engine uh, sound enhancements for you. Just keeps it a little bit quieter for everybody inside the vehicle. Has scuff plates that are molded in uh, color. Uh, kind of see it here. It kind of cuts it off right there, uh, but it is along there. So getting in front for the front and the rear doors uh, back here. Uh, you, you're going to have carpeted flooring in here. You can see there it does have the floor liners for the first and second row are standard equipment on the Timberline as well as the XLT. But that's pretty cool. We'll give you carpeted mats as well if you want to do that. Um, you have the unique deep cypress trim on the panel on the door. Uh, there for you uh, with the tangerine stitching as well. You're going to see that stitching there. You'll see that stitching on the seats as well. Pretty cool. Uh, eight passenger seating. So two up here, three in the back and, and three in the clear back. So you're six, seven, eight. So seats three in the middle. So it's seats three in the third row seat as well. ActiveX seating material. Uh, so you're going to see the, it will have heathered cloth inserts. That's what I was talking about with the uh, ActiveX trimmed on the outside. So Pretty cool. Uh, really hard to see in that picture. Uh, here, let's see if we can see a better angle. Kind of see that down there. So anyway, can't. it's hard to tell in those images. Uh, we'll have the uh, Timberline logo on the backrest. Let's hit the 360 view and see if we can get a better view of that. So there you go. Uh, hard to tell in here, but it is saying Active X seat material with heathered cloth, cloth inserts. So where this is, that should be cloth inserts. This should be ActiveX according to what the order guide's stating, which would make this ActiveX as well. So really hard to tell on that. Looks cloth on the images, doesn't it? Looks cloth. Um, so I guess we'll have to see. We've we've had some Timberlines in, and I haven't noticed it yet, because most of our Timberlines that have come in were 501As with their leather. Uh, so I'm not sure, but that should be um, ActiveX on the outside with heathered cloth inserts so there you go captain's chairs for the front row you front row also gets a 10-way power driver's seat with memory so you have memory for the driver's seat talk about some other memory features you'll get as well eight-way power passenger seat as well yeah uh, for the rear seat is a power um power folding 40 20 40 with the tip and slide so these outside seats will have a button on them to uh fold them down so um, and then third row is a 6040 vinyl seat in the back with a power recline and power folding headrest. Uh, the power folding is actually on the rear seats. I'm not sure I put that in the wrong section on here. So the third row back there is power folding for it to fold down, not these seats. These will have levers that you can slide them forward or you can lay them down if you need to to get into the third row seats. So pretty cool on how that works. So you have a lever on this, this middle seat too. This middle seat will slide forward and back as well. So uh, there you go. Um, and then the, the headrest back there, you can uh, power those from the front seat if you need to lay those down. Uh, if somebody like left them up and you're like, oh, they left those up, I can't see back through the back, you can lift, uh, fold those down uh, power uh, with the power switch on the front. Um, and then, yeah, power recline for the third row seat to recline those down. And you should have power folding, power recline for these outside, these seats as well that folds those down. If you're in the back and need to, uh, you'll have switches for that too. Uh, rear auxiliary controls on the back of the console uh, for the second and third rows. Also get a 110 outlet back there and USB port type A and C on the back of the console uh, for you. Third row seat will have two USB ports, one on each side for you as well. Um, and then your windows, power windows for you with the uh, one touch up and down feature for the front rows. So that means you just hard press it down. It's going to go down. You don't have to hold it coming up. It's the same way. So uh, power door locks with auto unlock and lock. Um, we do have power adjustable pedals. Those pedals will go forward and back. They're included in your memory features. Also have power tilt and telescoping steering wheel. So electronically, it'll go up and down, forward and back. Also part of your memory features, along with your mirror. Your mirror is also included with the, the uh, memory features too. So your seat, your power adjustable pedals, steering wheel, and your mirrors, all controlled with the driver memory. Um, Leather wrap steering wheel with the tangerine stitching there. Kind of hard to see that in that image there. Does have that. There you go. You can kind of see it a little bit better right there. Um, and then cruise control as well for you. It's going to be standard. Uh, you will have a productivity screen that is a, an 8-inch productiv eight, eight productivity screen right there with a speedometer and tachometer. 
as well. Push button starts back here, so when you, you don't have to get the keys out to get unlock or lock it or to start the vehicle. So that's pretty cool to have. And you do have for the climate control, tri-zone climate control. So dual zone in the front seat. So driver and front passenger have two different temperatures and a separate climate control for those in the rear seat as well. And they should be able to control it in the back as long as there's no constraints on those controls. Um, AM FM stereo with MP3 player, six speaker audio sound system, Sirius XM with the 360L as standard equipment as well. You'll see it does have the Sync 4 system. That's an upgraded new system with over the air updates for you with enhanced voice recognition, 12 inch touchscreen here, LCD screen, love that with the information on demand. Doesn't show it to you here, but right about here, you'll uh, normally you'll see it come through here and you can, there's some up and down buttons right there that you can flip through different things. So if you have navigation on the main part of the screen and you have a radio over here and you want to control that, you just swipe it over and it swipe and it, they change places so you can control your audio, swipe back to your navigation, which is, so that's what they call that information on demand. Wireless phone connection, cloud connected. Also wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto as well. Um, digital owner's manual, conversational voice commands, which means you can say, okay, Ford or okay, Ford pass. And it's going to go ahead and listen so you don't have to press a button to do that. So then it starts listening just like your phone does. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then also you get connect to navigation. You get a 90 day trial on that and then you have to pay for a subscription for the nav uh, for you, but it is there for you. If you don't um, subscribe after 90 days, you will lose a functionality of the navigation. So just want to make sure you know that. Auto dimming rear view mirror means there's no lever to worry about flipping there. Cars to come behind you, it starts to get nighttime. It'll automatically adjust that mirror for you. Overhead console with sunglass bin up here. So pretty nice how that works. Up in front of that, I believe there's a little mirror for, so you can see kids in the back. Universal garage door openers on the visor, three of those. So you can program different transmitters to those. Um, also down in the media hub area, you will have, uh, you slide that forward, it's a media hub area. You have two USB ports down in there. Also wireless charging pad is located in there too. Uh, it does have the rotary dial shifter, as you can see there with the uh, plus and minus for the select shift. Behind here, you can't really see it, is where the drive mode switch is for you for the terrain management system. Um, the center console has an armrest, covered media bin, uh, so that flips open. This console does if you want. Two cup holders back here as well. Uh, there you go. does have inside that center console, there's a power point in there as well. And then lastly, you do have the Ford Pass Connect. Now, as you just stay connected to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app, free app you download, you connect your vehicle, your phone in to the vehicle, and then that way you can remote start the vehicle from anywhere. You can unlock and lock your vehicle, schedule remote start times, see the fuel uh, pressure on your tires, the, their, um, the fuel that you have in there, as well as the tire pressure on your tires and where your vehicle is located. So if you do go off-road, let's say you have that at the campsite, right? And you go and go hiking and you're like, where's the car, where's our campsite? Let's find a vehicle and you can, it helps you locate yourself, right? So what that'll do is show the location the last time the vehicle is started and you shut it off. That would be the location that's showing for you. So keep that in mind. I uh, won't show you the location as it's driving. So if you're like, hey, somebody took my car or something, you can't see where it's going as it's driving. But once they shut it off, that'll be the last location it was at when it was shut off. So there you go. That's all the standard equipment. Now let's talk about that 501A equipment group we've mentioned a couple times already. So everything we've talked about so far is part of the 500A equipment group. That is your uh, standard equipment for your Timberline. Uh, but we're going to talk about this 501A equipment group, this Timberline high package, $9,200. And uh, I'll go over some of this stuff, but as you can see, it doesn't look like there's a lot for 92, 92, 20. That's because there's a lot of things missing that's also included in the 501A equipment group that Ford does not include here. So we're going to actually just add the package so we can talk about it on the vehicle. Um, so one of the things is it does ask you to go to the black onyx interior instead of the deep cypress. So we'll make sure we do that. Um, and so we'll go ahead and go out of this so you can kind of see the differences on this. Um, and kind of let me go through some of the exterior features first that you get. Uh, we'll talk about. Now, one of the things you do get as part of this package is you get the um, you get a, a, a package include the Copilot 360 Assist 2.0 package. Um, and which the only way you can get that is on this equipment group this high package here you cannot uh let me make sure on here that you can't get that with uh, that package is not available 
any other way on the Timberline. It's not an optional package you could get. So you do have to get this high package to get that. So uh, what's included in the Copilot 360 SS 2.0 package? Uh, this is where you get some upgrades. You're gonna get the 360 degree camera. So there'll be a camera under the front, under the mirrors, as well as the back. So you can see completely around the vehicle. You're also getting upgraded with that member I mentioned earlier, the navigation, the, the connected navigation, uh, where you get three months of service. Now it's gonna get upgraded. You're gonna get three years of service included with this so you don't have to worry about it for, for the for the first three years also you're going to get the front sensing system so you get the front sensors up here you kind of see those little right there on that the images there so you'll get that as well uh, you're also going to get intersection assist intersection assist allows that if you're turning into an intersection and it sees that there's a car coming it's going to break the vehicle so you don't have hit, the, hit collide with them so that's a new feature in the last couple of years that is included also, now you get the pre-collision assist. Uh, we already had pre-collision -co pre assist, but now it's the autonomous braking, which means that if you're not paying attention, you're not braking the vehicle, uh, preloads the brakes, now will actually brake the vehicle if you're not paying attention instead. So now that adds that as well. And then backing up the vehicle, if your sensors are going off, you're not paying attention, it actually does have the reverse brake assist as well. So it will break the vehicle backing up as well if you're going to hit something. But most importantly, you get the intelligent adaptive cruise control. So this upgrades to get that adaptive cruise. So if there's someone going slower than you, it'll slow down to go to their speed. When you uh, say for you then to pass them, it'll resume back up. Even bring you to complete stop if it needs to and go again. So uh, it, it'll if, it, if you start going after a certain time period, um, then you may have to hit the resume button, but it'll go again without you having to hit the accelerator and resetting the cruise. Also, it comes with lane centering as well. So lane center assist uh, means it'll try to keep you in the center of your lane, which is pretty cool to have. So that'll, that'll help you keep there. And then uh, just that way, that way you don't get to the lines. It tries to keep you in the center of your lanes. Also on top of that, you get the speed sign recognition system. So you can, when it'll see the speed signs and adjust your speed accordingly. So if you have your crew set and you can keep a tolerance. So if you're a person that likes to go five over or whatever, you can still set that tolerance on this system. So then let's say you're in a 75 mile an hour zone, but then the zone slows down on you and maybe you didn't see it, the vehicle will see it. They will see the speed sign change maybe to 70 and then slow you down to 75. So that way you don't get that speeding ticket. So uh, that's also included within this. So that's all part of the Copilot 360 Assist 2.0 package. Um, so let's talk about some of these other exterior features you get on top of that. Your mirrors here are gonna be upgraded. So now you're gonna get power folding with auto fold. We talked about that already. Power heated glass, turn signal indicator, all the same things, security approach lamps. Uh, that also gets the memory as well for the mirror. Um, now you're gonna also get in the black mirror cups, but now you're gonna also get a driver's side view auto dimming mirror. So that means that driver's side view mirror will auto dim. So that when those cars pass you with those bright lights, it's gonna dip the mirror like it does your um, your backup your your backup mirror or rear view mirror. <laughs> thinking about that also with this you do get the rain sensing wipers so you do have it one of those intermittent settings it starts to rain it's going to automatically turn it on the harder it rains it'll wipe faster for you without you having to adjust it so that's all included there as well uh, panoramic vista roof is also included with this you know, have a power sunshade dual panel uh, moon roof a vista roof that's included with this package as well so that's all of your exterior features now let's uh, look inside here uh, look at the interior for this and see how it's different for you uh, so you'll see the onyx interior here uh, you are getting upgraded uh, with these different seats so now you're going to get heated and ventilated front seats here for you uh, which is a nice addition for you, you didn't get that before heated and ventilated front seat. Um, and then also you get second row heated seats for these two. You're gonna go to the bucket seats in the second row, as you can see here. So captain's chairs with the armrests, as you can see there, still has the tip and uh, tip and slide feature on the second row back here. It doesn't change the third row, but it changes its seven passenger seating with this configuration. Um, the uh, power windows is gonna go to one touch, not just for the front windows, but also for the back windows. Uh, as well there, so that's going to be included as well. Um, let's see here, what else? I want to make sure I get everything. Leather trim seats as well, as we talked about. Um, heated seats, that's all on seat. The floor mats, you will get the all-weather mats still. Now, instead of getting carpeted mats, just in the, uh, just regular carpeted mats, now you're going to get a limited edging to that. So an upgraded carpeted mats for you as part of this package. Also, upgrade your audio system. b &O audio sound system with 12 speakers, including a subwoofer, 
uh, HD radio as well. So really upgrade your audio system there. Also gives you ambient lighting as well as included with this within this package. Uh, let's go to this 360 view. I want to show you a couple things you get in here. Uh, now, one of the things you're going to get is a bigger 15 and a half inch LCD uh, screen. So now you're getting the Sync 4A. Uh, so that is an upgraded system. So this is a, a nice one, a nice upgrade here, getting the full 15 and a half inch center stack screen with the Sync 4A system, like we see in the Mach-E, where your nav and stuff's gonna be here. You're gonna have little uh, dash cards down here, and then you'll see one dial on the screen. You can control everything by touching it right here, and that dial controls your audio system as well there. So it's a pretty nice upgrade there on there and you also get a 12.4 uh, color multi-color productivity screen so you'll notice it's much bigger now it goes clear across a uh, digital for your uh, speedometer and attack now uh, but you're going to get that full screen full digital display there uh, for you so that's included uh, as well and make sure you don't miss anything i think that's everything i think we've covered it all uh, just make sure floor mats yep we got everything so that's a lot of features so a lot more than what ford shows you uh, when you go to the packages section uh, as you can see there so we covered uh, a bunch more uh, additions than what they're showing here so a lot of a lot of great features for a uh, 9220 than what that screen shows so i want to make sure i do this video properly so you can see what all is included uh for me on mine it's that full page on my sheet on my order guide so a lot of features here that's added to this as part of this 501A. Now we're going to talk about a package, one package that's available, and this is it's the heavy duty trailer tow package. So it's $7.95 for this package. And uh, as you can see there, and a few things include, I'm going to go off my notes here just to make sure we get it all covered, but you do get the integrated trailer brake controller that's included within this. Now remember, you do get the hitch and the four pin and seven pin wiring as standard equipment, trailer sway control as well. But when you get this uh, upgrade to this, you're getting the integrated trailer brake controller. So that's that dial, or no, I'm sorry, integrated trailer brake controller that can, uh, controls the brake as well. I was looking at the next item, which is the Pro Trailer Backup Assist as well. That is that dial where you control the trailer just by turning that dial and using your backup camera. It does upgrade your rear view camera to a digital uh, display there for you. Uh, it does show you reverse brake assist, but you already received that as part of the, 50, uh, the 501A equipment group. Um, but if you have 500A, then it adds the review camera, the digital review camera, as well as the upgraded reverse brake assist uh, when you have the 500A with this package here. So, also uh, the 360 degree camera, also that's uh, that's part of the the 501A equipment group. Um, you get the trailer reverse guidance that's added to that, and actually that's saying that's only part of the 501A. So, if you do include this package with the, as it shows here. Uh, this package, you will not get the 360 camera on the 500A. So that will be one of the features that's not included. And then you get the two-speed automatic 4x4 system with the neutral towing capability. And it does mention the 373 there. Uh, it mentions the 373 non limb slip or axle, but it's not in my notes. So I'm not sure if that's an upgrade or if it's already included uh, in the trimmer package, which it could be. Um, so, all right. Oh, it's probably not included because you got a, a, a limited slip, uh, control track limited slip. So you wouldn't have that system in here because this says not limited slip. So, uh, okay, uh, I think that's everything as part of the trailer tow package uh, and a nice little upgrade. And I know right now Ford is, is requiring this package added to several different packages because of constraints. So it would be something uh, that you might want to think about adding to your order. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the standalone options. I am going to go over to our website for this because our website kind of if you go to ford's website which we're looking at here they kind of combined a lot of their dealer installed options along with their factory options and such and our website actually breaks it out separately so i'm, I'm going to go over to our website and we do have on the building price a building price up and i uh, what i like about our website is that we use the building price based off of the order guide which is the most accurate so if i go to uh, four wheel drive timberline go back to where i was at uh, then we'll go through these factory options for you uh, and right now i went ahead and selected the 500a so you kind of get, get an idea of what's available in the 500a and there's a couple options that require you to go to 501a equipment group to get those options so we'll kind of talk a little bit about that so uh, moving down here to the option other options it says down here these are your factory options so right now they do require you to remove the auto start stop on your order and so that's what uh see our website again using the order guide completely uh does say it's a required option right now so you would need to add that but you get a discount and some people are liking that because they don't like the auto start stop anyway um and across these off as we talk about them um and then the next one down here is a hands-free 
uh, foot activated lift gate. I didn't mention that because Ford actually had taken off the hands-free lift gate from all of their SUVs um, at the beginning of the year. And this was still in here from then. We need to actually get them to remove that probably. Um, and then we do have down here, moving down, um, this is the fee, uh, required option it mentions uh, for the 501A. Uh, we'll get into that when we get the 501A equipment here. Advanced uh, Cargo Manager. So if you click on the details, kind of shows you, gives you that shelf divider type system there. And this is a pretty cool system. Also gives you the crossbars that go between your side rails. Uh, so you get both of those options for that. And that, again, it's available on the 500 or 501A equipment group for you. Um, there you go. Uh, you do get the panoramic Vista roof um, is something you can add as optional equipment on the 500A, again, included in the 501A. But again, if you want that as a standalone option, it's available for you here at 1475. The front license plate bracket in states that require front license plate, it's standard equipment, but in Kansas is not one of those states. Uh, if you live in one of these states, you'll need to, if you want a front license plate bracket, you'll need to make sure you add it as a standalone option. Engine block heater, state uh, people that live in a cold weather state, keep their vehicle outside, want to plug it into the house, keep that and the engine block cooled off or heated up, I should say, <laughs> then they can do that and have that in there. Also, uh, we'll talk about this on the 501A as well as your seating option on the 501A. So again, bench seat is standard equipment for you. Um, and we uh, kind of looked at the configuration for the 501A, so we'll talk more about that, but not an option for uh, some paint. Those are the extra cost colors on the paints uh, and then dealer installed options. So that's all of your factory options on the 500A. Let's go back um, and see if we can get the 501A selected for us here um, so we can see what's optional on the 501A. We already talked about um, heavy duty trailer to four wheel drive. Timberline should pop up and ask us for. There we go. Um, did not do that. So, like from here, I want to select the 401A or 501A. There we go. So now I want the 501A. Um, so we can see the optional equipment on it. So again, heavy duty trailer tow package. Um, and then here, now we're opening it up. We do have, remember we talked about the second, first and second row of the up and down feature for the one touch is what they call that. So if you do have the 501A, they will ask you to remove the second row of having that feature. So that's a, that is an acquired option now on the order guide. So something to note uh, for that, that is something that you might have to add. Again, we still get the advanced cargo management because it's in both as well as all these. Now with this one, you do have the dual headrest rear entertainment system with the Amazon Fire TV. This is available for $2,000 to add to the 501A equipment group. So that's something that can be added uh, for you too. And then the seating configuration, since the you go when you go to 501A, you get the bucket seats or the captain seats. Now, if you want still want the bench seat, you can go to that. It's $595 to select that option. So 501A, that is gonna be an option for you if you wanna go to that seating configuration for you. But otherwise, that's all the things that are included here uh, that are standard equipment. We do have dealer installed options down here if you want to add any of these to them. Uh, the reason I like to cover these separately is because some of these you can do later through Ford Accessories. Uh, but the transmission underbody shield is a dealer installed option. Um, but if you want to get a the shield for the uh, for the transmission as well, normally the 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 skid plates we're talking about that are under there will protect the fuel tank. Um, and I, I thought usually the transfer case, but I guess not. So this will help protect the trans the underbody shield for the transmission as well. If you want to add that to your vehicle, available on either the 500 or 501A equipment group. Um, also the cargo organizers. There's a couple of them. There's a a, a soft standard size one. There's a larger one here as well. Uh, you can see the price on those and there's a cooler bag. So those all three are things you can get through Ford Accessories. And that's usually how I recommend people do it. Don't don't get that through the factory. You can get the wheel lock kit and that would be deal the dealer would install that and that's gonna get you one extra bolt to go on to each of the different wheels with a lock on it. So that way people can't steal take those nice wheels off. So that's available. And then this uh, cargo protection package um, and that is uh, includes the cargo area reversible mat that goes in there and a cargo net. 
Uh, so the cargo net will go in there, and uh, we actually that cargo net should be included, but it does say in here it's not. And in the cargo area reversible mat, that'd be if the third row seat was down, it would go in the back there. And that way it's like carpet on one side, and then on the other side it's going to be an all weather material for you, uh, kind of. Uh, so something you can wipe clean anyway. So there you go. That's all your factory options that are available for the Timberline Edition. So there you have it. That is all of the uh, options. That is all the standard equipment plus what's included in 501A. One package available as well as your standalone options and dealer installed options. All in this one video. Hopefully it did help you out and give you some information of how you can order a uh, 2023 Ford Expedition in the Timberline Edition here for you. And uh, hopefully it did help you out for that. And uh, if it did, smash that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, don't forget, you can order a 2023 Ford Expedition right now. Order banks are still open. Um, Timberland edition is a pretty cool addition, especially wanting to go off road, have the capability of being able to put everybody in there and all your luggage and everything to go camping. This is a great vehicle for you and a great daily driver as well. If you want that too, uh, and being able to have to have that vehicle to go off road in the weekend. So I think you'll really like it. So again, thanks for watching this video. appreciate it. If you want to find, uh, don't forget, uh, search your dealers out there, find out what they're doing for price. You might also ask them because we're seeing this happening a lot. Ask them what else is uh, uh, something they rec they add to all their vehicles. So sometimes they won't always tell you unless you ask them. Some dealers will require certain things to be added to all their vehicles. Uh, so you want to ask them about that. Usually you can tell them, nope, I'm not getting any of that stuff. But some dealers are very hardcore about it. Find out if that's something else you want to know if that's a good deal you want to work with or not. Uh, find out if they know about price protection as well, which means that you're going to pay the price that what it was when you ordered the vehicle, uh, even if the price goes up during after you order that. So sometimes they have price increases. Recently, they did have one on the expedition where the dealer destination and delivery charge went up by a couple hundred dollars. Um, so you want to make sure that you're protected to the price that it is when you ordered. So you want to make sure you get a copy of your order sheet and your door from your dealer uh, so that you get price protected to that and ask them if they know how price protection works and that they're going to price protect your vehicle. So you want to find out. Some of them will say, no, we, it, that's not the way it works. Then you know there's probably a dealership that doesn't know much about that. Also, ask about locking in any kind of uh, interest rates and incentives from when you ordered. Right now, from the time of recording this video, there are some good incentives on the Ford Expedition if you order right now. So there's low interest rates you can lock in as well as some incentives. So make sure the dealership you're working with knows how to lock those in so you can make sure you get those rates from when, when the vehicle comes in from when you ordered it. So you can pick one of the others. So make sure your dealership knows about that too. So if you're struggling to find any one of those dealers, reach out to us, we can help you out um, and get and get a vehicle ordered and you can come and pick it up from us. Or if you'd like, we do have a YouTube special, which is a, we do it call our free shipping YouTube special. It's a thousand dollars, first thousand dollars of shipping uh, we'll take care of if you finance a vehicle with us at standard rate. So that is not compatible with any kind of low interest rates or special rates that you can lock in at the beginning to so just be aware of that. But a lot of people, what they'll do is take advantage of just flying in very cheaply into the airport, pick them up and then drive the vehicle home. Uh, that way they know that they're getting from a dealership that's transparent, that knows what's going on, even keeps you updated on their weekly live streams and lets you know what's going on with your orders and such. Um, all here at this one place. And then uh, you don't have to worry about any of that. Uh, not knowing, dealers not knowing what's what's going on. So if you want to work with us, great. If not, hopefully you have a great local dealer. There's a, a lot of great ones out there, so please work with them. And that's not the intent of this video. It is to help you out. So if you have a great dealer, uh, that's fabulous. Work with them and get a good vehicle at, at a good dealership that way as well. So again, thanks for watching this video. Hope it did help you out and give you some information that you're looking for. Uh, you can find us on social media. We're at Lama MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can follow me. There's my Linktree account. If you want to know different places and links where I'm at on social media, follow me there. Love to connect with you there as well and answer any questions you might have. I'm also usually on some of the forums as well. Um, so you can always uh, tag me at Ford Vita Guy there. Uh, otherwise, I think that's it. Thank you again for watching. Hope you have a great day. And don't forget to stay positive, be kind to one another, and be kind to yourself. And we'll see you on the next video.